how massive that step down kicker is. What year is it? Like what? Yeah, I know what year it is, but like, <laughs> is it like our fifth or sixth year here? Something like that. Uh, this is my fourth year being here, and I think yeah. it's gone before that. Anyways, so. we've been here a shit ton of years now in a row, and the course is quite similar to the previous years. Uh, we're starting off with a massive flat drop. It feels big, everything feels weird because we've been riding airbags for like six months now and we just show up here and we're supposed to like throw ourselves out of buildings and do tricks. But I know how it is. I've been riding contests now for what, like 12 years, 11 years or something. As soon as I get on course, it all comes back, doesn't it? It all comes back and it feels like natural again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ride here all week long. Today is actually Tuesday. So we're just gonna check out the course today. It's a bit of a down day. We're just gonna check out the course, a bit of a course update because they actually changed quite a lot down there. So we'll go to stand next to the pole. So they get a bit of a perspective on oh, see any hard, like so. All right, same flat drop as always. Dropping down there, pumping as hard as you possibly can all the way down there. Barely have any flat bottom at all and then you go into that massive dirt to dirt jump which is quite a massive jump what are those anyways huge as i always like it's quite a big lip for this one you're just steaming in but last year i was kind of tricky with speed from this one so i'm a bit can be hard so after hitting this massive jump as always we steam down here it looks like we're gonna have to go fully fully pin into this newly built step down it used to be a bone log there quite a trickable and nice one but they changed it now to a step down by the looks of it it's a massive kicker like almost two meters looks good like it's always fun when they change up the courses a little bit i mean like us as riders when we go to events all the time and we ride the same thing over and over every year it's kind of like more challenging for us to come up with new runs because we did that last year and we know it works we know what doesn't work with like speed wise and rotation wise according to the jumps so uh, i'd say that it's good it's good with a bit of a mix-up and it's fun for everyone to challenge themselves a little bit. That was a geeky little, little thing. <laughs> this might be the stupidest shoes to do a course walking because I have now have to walk down this steep landing with the flip floss and socks. It's ne they're never gonna stay on. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh, my feet. <laughs> oh. 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 So there you get like a bit of a perspective on how massive that step down kicker is. Yeah, I'm eight foot tall, so it's quite. Yeah, nice. Tom is eight foot, but he's also like a head shorter than me, so. You must be nine. Then. Yeah, I'm nine foot. Yeah. It's still quite flat though. It's, it's flat, but it's a big kicker to use as leverage of doing big tricks off. So I'm gonna have to re reconsider my run a little bit after seeing that kicker. I thought it would be. A normal step down kicker but yeah not our, like our usual step downs that we ride so it's like a jump actually it's like kind of a jump but also like a down. mellow and step downy so yeah it's quite hard to like pinpoint what it actually is but it looks sick it's gonna be amazing to ride it and then you land down pump and obviously the the two hips that we've ridden every year whale tail same as always looks epic and then last jump, same as always, looks epic as well. They say it's been raining for the last weeks, but looking at the jumps, they look freshly shaped and they look mint. So I feel like they should run quite fast. Into the fence? Yeah, into the fence. The last thing they changed is this massive quarter to bank in the end. Uh, it looks absolutely epic because it looks like, just by the proportions and stuff, it looks like you could just land and then go as fast as you want and then just boost as high as you want so the course looks perfect a big shout out to the course builders they did an amazing job of just fine touching everything and rebuilding some stuff the step down looks absolutely massive i think some major tricks are gonna go down there this week and the last quarter pipe is also a sick addition i love quarter pipes i don't really know what we're cutting to maybe we were talking about going to play golf maybe we do that maybe not 
you'll see what we cut to because now is the cut that is gonna happen. I'm excited for Crankworx so it's gonna be so sick to be out here competing with the boys again and riding and having fun. Just look at this, we have like a pool sitting down there and then the sun is out, not a single cloud up there and then the beautiful view. Anyways, uh, we did book a tea time. We're at a mountain bike event but we are gonna swing some clubs. I assure you, if you don't click out, you're gonna watch Alex completely ruin himself and probably sprain his back for the contest. Oh, then I'll be in then. So. Oh, cool, that's good for you. Because <laughs> Tom is an after that. See, that's, oh, that's why he wanted him to come and play with us. All right, cool, we're gonna cut to golf now. <laughs> Unbelievable that they even let us play here because like we show up in sport shorts and t-shirt and stuff Me and Tom are gonna are starting to make this into a tradition that we play golf every Crankworks event All right, Alex think about this as a cork seven on the step down at Crankworks okay. Put as much effort into this as that Effort? Yeah Whoa. <laughs> Kinda good? Yeah, yeah good yeah. just a bit of an old man swing, but yeah. it's it's that's what you do in the beginning First tee. Alright, here we go. Boom! Striped it down the middle. Not as good, it stopped right over there, but he's using a five iron. No way, you're on the green. Bit far. Alex with the putter. Fuck! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a par three, hundred meters. Oh. That's a par. That's a good shot. Idiot, 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 idiot. Sex lord. Feels like we're golf vloggers now. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not what we are, we're crap at golf, but. Good part. Good part. Alright, it was definitely not a score we were looking for here, but it was a good little uh, experience to play out here in Innsbruck. Uh, good course. We should probably go here before we go home again, right? 100%. Probably on Sunday when we're a bit like tired after the contest and stuff. Mm. Should we cut to something else? I don't even know. This is just an off day vlog. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And we'll keep it going. All right, we got an early morning today. We just had breakfast. Today is the first day of practice here at Crankworx Innsbruck. I'm super excited to just get on course. For now, I'm quite tired though, because it's like really early in the morning. Practice is quite early today, because uh, as you guys know, wind is a big issue in our sport and it tends to pick up later on during the day. So we're going to get at it now in the morning, try all the features, try out the course and uh, yeah, just get used to the big jumps and uh, just fill out the speeds, do the rotations, do some basics and stuff. So. I guess I'll just do a couple uh, uh, head cam shots and then, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. That was interesting. Made it all the way through though, I just thought why not just go. Step down, I went way too far as I kind of predicted. Better that than case because these landings are quite sharp and snipey. 
So no, that was good, made it all the way through. The only thing I cased on was the freaking quarter pipe that were supposed to be the easy one, Dale. Here comes Alex, and he obviously also made it all the way through. And yeah, good to be on course again. Everything felt quite good though. Like it feels good and comfortable. We've ridden this before, so nothing crazy. It'll be a good week for sure. What well, do you think? Did it go fast as well? I went way too far in the step down. Me too, and I even braked a bit. Yeah, same. I was fully just improvising. I was gonna do a triple truck, yeah. but then the jumps are so big, so I was like, let's do four. So it was a quad truck. <laughs> you looked so relaxed when you did it as well. It was like, dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, that ended up being quite a lot more riding in this video than I was planning but yeah first day of practice was actually really really good in the morning it was quite a lot of soft spots everywhere it was kind of tricky but then we had a lunch break and then when we got back we got some solid riding here and then super keen on just like yeah the course is actually running so good I was not even planning on doing a quad truck as you saw there but it just ended up happening because I felt like I was just stoked and it feels good on the bike so I'm happy about that and uh, yeah of course it's sick, I'm excited to ride some more this week and uh, it's also stoked to get that flip double bar to tuck in the, on that hip and uh, no, got quite a lot of stuff to do still but got to go foundations off my run and uh, I feel comfortable on my bike and I feel like uh, this is going to be a fun contest and not one of those stressful, scary and uh, weird ones so I'm just going to film and document wherever I can and bring you guys along as much as I can without uh, dropping out too much focus from the actual riding. It'll be a lot of raw riding, so I hope you guys are fine with that. Uh, I might try to talk as much as I can, but my focus this year is gonna be heavily on the contest. So I'm gonna try to still bring you guys along as much as I can, because I love making videos still. So uh, yeah, trying to do a bit of an extra push for the contest this year, so uh, the videos might uh, not come out as often as I was planning on, but. Hope you guys are still with me and uh, following me through this uh, crazy journey that I'm on and uh, are keen to keep on supporting me. And I love you guys that are supporting me and I love you guys for still watching this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching. Subscribe and like if you want or not. You can just enjoy this view if you want. I'll see you here, like some. Här ska vi då när det är livesändning och det är tusentals människor eller fler miljoner som tittar och tittar hemma, även om det är fler miljoner, men det är skitmycket folk. I'm, I'm sex 